Since Christianity says that a god will send you to hell unless you obey, isn't Christian morality based on a threat? It's clear what the criteria of judgment is. It's not whether you believed in Jesus or not. It's whether you did bad things or not. This seems to be a controversial issue among Christians. I have heard many apologists tell me that Christianity is not a works righteous system, by which they mean that you can't earn your way into heaven by doing good things, nor by avoiding bad things. Rather, the one and only criterion for salvation, they tell me, is accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. What this guy is saying sounds like you can get into heaven without believing in Jesus if you avoid doing bad things, which is quite different from what most apologists tell me. And the people who do bad things end up being punished for that. If people do bad things but get rescued by believing in Jesus, then they don't necessarily end up being punished for that, do they? People who trusted in the Savior get rescued from that. That's the rescue, but that's not the grounds for the punishment, okay? So that's one thing just to get squared away. Here's a second thing uh, to think of. There's two kinds of threats, I guess. One of them is, uh, give me your money or I'll shoot you, all right? Another one is a doctor who says, if you don't get the surgery, you're going to die. This is not an applicable analogy. A doctor is not omnipotent as we are told Yahweh is. In many cases, a doctor is simply not capable of saving you without surgery. If Yahweh is not capable of saving you without your submission, then he isn't really omnipotent. If he is capable of saving you without your submission, but refuses to do so, he is engaging in coercion. Now, we would never say that the doctor is trying to threaten us by telling us the natural consequences of our behavior. He's trying to help us. He's giving us a way out. He's showing us a rescue. We are on a path that is a dismal, dangerous path. And unless we divert the actions that we've been taking and do something else, the doctor says, we're going to die. That's, a, that's an act of kindness. If the doctor were omnipotent and could save you magically, but insisted that he would only save you if you allowed him to do surgery on you, then that would, in fact, be a kind of extortion or threat and not an act of kindness. So look it. God offers forgiveness to people who disobey. But the fact that this forgiveness comes with strings attached negates the whole act of kindness thing. The fact that he allows bad things to happen to us because we don't kiss his ass and follow his orders is already proof that he's kind of an asshole. That's an act of kindness. People say no. Okay, I get it. And as a result, they are punished for the crimes they have committed against God. It's not a threat. Look, at, if, if I offered you a rescue or any other human being offered you a rescue, that would be an act of kindness. Not if you are offering to rescue me from the hell that you yourself created. Why is it when God offers a rescue from the most dangerous threat around that that's considered a threat? He is rescuing us from the threat of eternal damnation. Because it's a threat that he created in the first place and because he places conditions on the so-called rescue. Thanks again for helping me out on Patreon.